Hey there, you know, the family of 23 year old Carlina White believes that the same woman who raised Carlina kidnapped her and now authorities have issued a warrant for her arrest, not for kidnapping though, but for violating her parole as part of an embezzlement conviction in North Carolina last year. Pe ended up IDing herself as once missing child. Carlita's uh, reuniting with her family this past week and, and the family wanted to see the kidnapper face justice for what they say destroying their family. As for Petway, she and her natural son, who was 13 years old, haven't been seen or heard from since at least Tuesday. Harris? Such an incredible story. Can't even imagine Googling to find out your own no. identity. Yeah. Julie, thank you very much. Thanks. It could make the difference between life and death. This cutting edge technology is intended to stop drivers before they ever get stopped by an officer or get caught at a checkpoint. In fact, it keeps drunk drivers from ever cranking their cars. Developers insist the devices will not be installed on every new car and are not designed to prevent people from having a glass of wine with dinner. But they do admit there is still a lot of work to be done before it is commercially available in about eight years. Harris. All right, Julie, thank you very much. Geraldo, first Americans were told not to travel to Cairo. Now they're being told to get out as days of protests have escalated into deadly chaos with looters roaming the streets and travelers stranded in the airport. Those who need travel assistance are asked to call the State Department toll free at 888-407-4747 if you're calling from within the United States and Canada. Callers outside the United States should dial 202-501 4444 or email Egypt Emergency USC at state.gov. Geraldo. Judge. From downtown Cairo to midtown Manhattan and all across the country, 12 days of protests are met with more angry Egyptian Americans who want diplomacy for their people. At the United Nations today for the second weekend, in a, which is much the same in Egypt, there had been speculation whether or not these protests would settle down after Mubarak announced that he would not seek re-election in the fall, but that's not soon enough for activists who are demanding for a change now. Harris. All right, Julie Banderas, thank you very much. And from Hi, Harris. Well, from former governors to Donald Trump, the field remains wide open, according to the latest Fox News polls. And with the results of CPAC straw poll today, we'll see if Republicans get a bump in the next few weeks. Of course, it's still too early in the election cycle, and name recognition can play a large part in the support candidates receive. So that may be what boosts the Donald over lesser known potential contenders. As of right now, Mike Huck, by the way, Obama has also even wide Wider advantages over Palin, Gingrich, and Jeb Bush. But again, it's still early, so plenty of time to see where these numbers will go. Harris? Still early, but everybody's watching. Yep. Julie Banderas, thank you very much. Aldo, from former governors to Donald Trump, the field remains wide open, according to the latest Fox News polls. And with the results of CPAC straw poll today, we'll see if Republicans get a bump in the next few weeks. Obama has even wider advantages over Palin, Gingrich, and Jeb Bush. But again, it's still too early, so plenty of time to see where these numbers will go. Geraldo? Julie, thanks. Coming